Hey everybody, I know it's been a very, 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 very long time. All right, so sorry. Hi though. <laughs> um, so let's just pick it up where we left off, like months and months and months ago. Um, to, I did make these shorts. Now this was like in the summertime, right? So they're actually shorts. Um, and so I did adjust some of these figures um, because I made them and I was like, oh, let me reduce you know, like some of the ease. So I'm gonna go back over some of the figures here. Now you can keep it the way we had it, um, which is more ease, right? And you can just adjust as you sew, or you can make your template to where it is the lower ease. So let's just go over starting at the here. So the upper thigh, that was my upper thigh measurement, crotch length was 30 inches, okay? Um, now the crotch depth using the chair, I had, I'm not sure if I used a chair for this one. I think this was a, um, a formula that I got, um, online it was 10 and I want to say it was, I can't remember what it was. No, that had to be the chair because even, no, that had to be the chair. I'm sorry. I'm not sure where I got that from. <laughs> um, but it ended up being that was the measurement plus the ease and it was 10 and three fourths and that was just way too short right it was just way too short i don't know what the what the heck was happening there so i took the chair measurement right my chair measurements and you know you take it from your you're sitting in a chair a hard chair from the side so from the hip uh you run the tape along your uh your hip um so, you know, that's a, a curve there until you meet the chair, whatever that measurement is. Mine was 13 and a half. Um, and there you can add, I want to say it started at um, one half, three quarters to one inch of ease. Okay. I just basically split it, did the one half and got 14. Okay. Um, so that's 14 that I have for the crotch depth. Now I did have a formula. This is a formula um, that I kind of came up with and it's kind of spot on because I, I did this and measured against a different, some other pants um, patterns that I have and it's basically that too. So if you don't want to use the chair method or you just want to confirm your chair uh, measurement that you got, uh, the formula is your lower hip plus um, belly. So if you have like a belly or pooch like mine, the difference there between your lower hip and your upper hip. Mine is uh, two inches divided by three and a half. And then you're going to take just your plain lower hip divided by three and a half. And whatever those twos are, you take the average there. So real life numbers here. So lower hip plus belly, lower hip is 48, plus the difference between the upper and lower, it's two inches, so that ended up being 50. 50 divided by three and a half is 14 and a half. Uh, 14, I mean, uh, lower hip is 48, divided by three and a half, that's 13 and three quarters. Um, you take the average of those two, ended up being 14 inches for the crotch depth. So I would just use this as your starting point. Um, and then, you know, go ahead and do the chair method as well to, um, you know, confirm it or if you want to add to it. All right, so we just went over crotch step. Now the body mass space that I spent so much time on in the other video, scratch that whole thing out, okay. All right, so the other thing was crotch length. Um, I think in the other video, I basically said it's not needed, but honestly, it is needed. Uh, <laughs> um, I know some people, it, it is or it isn't for a lot of people. You, you're either on the, on the you know, bandwagon that it is a good measurement to have, or it's not a good measurement to have. You don't need it, basically. Um, I was on the bandwagon before uh, of that you do not need it change my mind on that um and just change my mind okay <laughs> so mine was 30 right so 
these numbers may seem arbitrary to you right now, but when we go over <clears throat> the actual drafting of or altering of the pattern, you see where these numbers come into play, the percentages. Um, but front is 47%, back is 53%. Just go with it, okay? So 47% um, of 30 is 14 and a half, 14.1. You can keep it like that, or you can just lower it down to 14 um, to make it simple. Uh, minus one and a half. Now, this is because when you take this measurement, you're taking it um, basically at your belly button in the front, um, all the way through your legs to the natural hip line area of the back, <clears throat> right? But we usually don't wear our pants at our belly button, typically. Um, so I subtracted one and a half inches to account for that. And so 14 minus one, minus one and a, one and a half inches equals 12.6. Now you can just round that down to 12 and a half, okay, to make it easier. So your front crotch length needs to be at least 12.5, all right? Moving on to the back is 53%. 53% of 30 is, I think it's 15.9. But this one, I just rounded it up so you can see. So 16 plus, now this is where you got to add some stuff in because the back usually has, now this is if you have some stuff back there, <laughs> you know, if you have a little curve back there, if you don't just add this ease part, um, if you have a little curve, go ahead and add the one inch to it. So let me go over it a little bit more. So adding to that 16, you're going to add the lower hip the lower hip length ease so if you look on the back of the pattern the finish ease on the um, lower hip line whatever that is you're going to add it all to the back for this pattern is two and a half inches all right now again if you have a little booty back there or just you know, some curves or whatever add uh one inch i would just add it you know as a template, just go ahead and add it. You can always take it in on the sides if need be. So just always add that in. So 16 plus two and a half plus one equals 19 and a half. So my back crotch length needs to be 19 and a half. All right. And this again is a formula. So you don't, um, just easy. So you don't have to like, okay, try to do the ball method. That's, you know, the pendulum, I think it's called um where it's between your legs and then you measure the front part then you try to measure the back part okay just use the formulas all right so this um was in the previous video but because i made the pants and think for me anyway that this ease can be changed a little bit so i just changed it on mine you can keep it the way it is um, or you can change it so this one was your thigh measurement divided by two, which was that 14 and three quarters. And your ease here originally was one inch. I just found that to be too much. So I changed it to a half an inch, but you can leave it at, at one inch if you need be. Now for the back, remember we added um, between three and four inches. Um, I would say three if you are, you know, kind of, even proportion front to back, three and a half if you have, you know, a little bit more curves, four if you're curvy, right? So I think at first I had three and a half. I just I just made it four um, for me. And so you just add that up, right? Now, um, in the next section of this video, we're going to go over darts. Um and how to manipulate those so they will fit your body. And of course, there's a formula for these darts as well. All right, I'll come back with that and have a new board, stuff on the board, <laughs> uh, so we can talk about the darts. Okay. Okay, uh, welcome back. So to um, this segment, we're gonna talk about dart intakes, okay? Um, but these are from the other, um, videos and important um important measurements so i got the crotch length uh the crotch length at thigh level is basically what that means for the front it's 15 and a quarter 
for the back is 19 and a quarter. Ease at the hip level is two and a half. Crotch depth is 14 inches. Crotch length for the front is 12 and a half. For the back is 19 and a half. All right. At the lower hip line, for the front, the total is 23. But you know, we're, since we're working in quarters for the pattern, a half of it um, of 23 is 11 and a half. For the back, total is 27 and 5 eighths. We're with, you know, half the pattern there, or I should say a quarter of the pattern. So it's 13 and 3 quarters, okay? And these are the measurements when we are altering the, um, the pattern of what we need those figures to at least hit. If it goes over, okay, we can adjust it, um, you know, when we're doing the fitting, but we want it to at least hit those numbers. So that's why those are important, and that's the reason why you have those up there. So this is the next important, and I actually should have flipped it <laughs> this way because we're going to start um, down at the bottom. And actually over here, this is the one where we're going to start. So we need to find out what our waist to hip difference is, and we're going to be using the finished measurements, okay? Not just your body measurements. You need the finished measurement, what it needs to be. So thus, that's include your ease. So for mine, it's 42. Now, my regular um, waist measurement is like 40, I want to say it is. So this includes the ease. Same thing for hips. You know, mine is 48. This includes ease, so 51. So you, you need to include the finished measurement. So waist, hip. Take the difference between the two, B minus C, B minus A, <laughs> uh, B minus A. So B minus A is nine. Moving on to here. So darts, they're very important. They shape, they shape the garment that's flat into around your body, right? So we need to know how much to do that. And again, it's a formula. Formula just, you know, makes life easier. Hopefully cross fingers here. <laughs> so the front, Okay, it could be either zero darts to up to two darts. If it's zero darts, it's gonna be 0%. Up to two darts, it's gonna be 8%. The back, you can either have two darts or you can have four darts. So on each side of your body, on one side, you can either have two darts um, or, no, I'm sorry. On the, if you look at the back, on both sides of your body, you're going to have one dart on one side, one dart on the other side. That's two. If you have two darts on one side, two darts on the other side, two plus two, four. So you have two or four. So if it's two, it's going to be 16%. Four, it's going to be 18%. Um, side seam, you're going to have four, right? Because you have two side seams for the front and you have two side seams for the back. So that total is four, right? So 13%. So if you, if we just do the two, two, four, it'll be eight plus eight, because it's two, uh, 16 plus 16, because it's two, 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13, because it's four. If you add all those up, it gives you 100. If you do the four, it's eight plus eight, because it's two, then it's going to be eight plus eight plus eight plus eight because it's four, then again, 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13, add all that up, guarantee you give, gives you 100. All right, so that's the percentages that we need, right? All right, so let's move on up to real life scenarios. Like that, people? All right, so look in here, right? So dart intake. So for your center front, and let's just think of pants, right? Center front is where your zipper is, typically, if you have a zipper. That's your center front. All right. Um, the max that dart can be on your pattern, half an inch. The minimum is one-fourth of an inch, which means you need some kind of angle there, right? So the minimum one-fourth, max a half, ideally. You know, if it ends up being more, it's more butt start here, okay? Your center back, um, that's where your two panels meet in the back. Um, the max is three quarters of an inch. Minimum is a half an inch. Now, I'll tell you, I usually start here with the max when I'm doing the pattern. 
um, doing an altering of the pattern, I start here. I don't start here. I don't start at the minimum. I always start at the maximum. Okay. All right. So moving on down here. Um, so remember, mine was nine, right? I had a difference of nine. So we need to distribute this nine inches between the side seams, the back, and the front. Okay? So side seams, we know it's going to be four, right? It's 13%. So 13% of nine inches is one and three eighths, right? So on the, on the side seams, your max intake can be up to one and three eighths. So I'm at the max, I can't go over, right? If this happened to be over, if that 13% was over, I have to just put one and three eighths and I'm gonna have to put, maneuver the rest of that someplace else, um, you know, someplace else in this formula. So that's the max is one and three eighths at the side seams. All right, so for at my back pattern, if I'm using only two darts, meaning one on each side, right? Um, at 16%, it's one and a half. Now for your back and your front, your max intake for two darts is one and one fourth, okay? So mine is one and a half. So I know I can't use two darts. I'm gonna have to use four darts because it's that's over the one and one fourth, okay? So cross that out, can't use it because it's over. So four darts, at the 8% is three, three quarters, all right? Well under the one and one fourth each, right? So three quarters at four darts, all right? So my front, if you can remember, is either zero darts up to 8%, which is two darts. So nine, nine, or I should say 8% of nine, is three quarters, right? Three quarters. All right, so it could be up zero up to three quarters. Okay, so if we add this up, one and three eighths times four, right? Um, three quarters times four, um, and the three quarters times two, that should give you around nine. Okay maybe off a little bit, because sometimes I, you know, I may round up, round down or something like that, but be that nine, okay? Trust me. All right, so now, this is the order that we want to bring this in, right? So, um, if, when I do this, this, and this, if, if I, if I move this up, now remember I have up until one and one fourth, right? For the front and the back. If I move this up from three fourths, just by one eighth, right? To uh, seven eighths. So if move it up by one eighth, three fourths to seven eighths, I now will have zero darts in the front. Now it's up to you. If you'd like to have darts, leave it at three fourths. You know, if you want to have no darts in the front because it's a slimmer looking, you know, especially if you, have, if you have a pooch, sometimes having darts there kind of accentuates stuff. And remember, I have a pooch, so if I can get away with zero darts, I'm going to get zero darts. So just by doing that, uh, moving that up, because you have that little leeway up to 7 eighths, now I eliminate this dart and the front actually has zero darts now. So if I add this up, one and three eighths times four, seven eighths times four, it'll give me nine. Okay, <laughs> and I counted for the nine uh, inches in all of the darts. So now we're we're ready to start altering our pattern. All right, people, any questions on any of this? Um, let me know. And again, sorry it took me forever to come back on, but you should you should see more content um, going forward. That's more at a more consistent basis on a on a regular basis. All right, everybody. So everybody have a great day.